So, what is this? So, uh, my name is Ian, I'm with Encore HPC. We build a ARM plus DSP supercomputer. This is a supercomputer right there? It's one blade of a supercomputer, yes. Where? Which part? This is the blade, this one? Yeah. What is under? Uh, so this is a chassis from our lab, so it's got a lot of stuff that we use in our lab that's not really necessary for the supercomputer when it's deployed in the field. So can you explain how the supercomputer works? Yeah, so this is a heterogeneous architecture. It's got uh, four A15 cores and 24 DSP cores and 26 gigabytes of ECC memory per node. And in our standard 14-slot chassis here, we have 48 nodes, which is about 23 teraflops of single precision floating point performance at less than three kilowatts. And with that, you get about 2.2 terabytes per second aggregate switching capacity in the chassis and a 1.2 terabytes of physical memory. So you can do things like simulations. Uh, you can do things like uh, medical imaging. You can do seismic processing. You can do the typical military and aerospace uh, applications like a radar or electronic uh, signal intelligence or advanced imaging. So uh, you're from Encore, right? Yes. So what is Encore? So Encore is a company that started in 2007 and we're primarily focused on applications and systems uh, that exhibit low, low latency, uh, high performance, yeah. and scalability in a size, weight, and power constrained environment. Yeah. So uh, right here is TI solution, arm powered with the DSPs and the design, you made the design of uh, the blade, or what's called the whole blade? Yeah, so we, we, do, we do the system design and we have a hardware partner called ProDrive. They do the manufacturing of all of the hardware and then we do the software to make it easy for programmers to take advantage of all this advanced computing power. All right, so do you show more on the, on the screen here or? Well, we can. So this is a heterogeneous computer, which means there's two architectures inside, the, inside each node. One is ARM, and that's running Linux. The other was DSPs, and those are being used purely for compute uh, capability. And so one of the real issues is how do you program both of these architectures at the same time. And the way we do it is we use something called OpenMP Accelerator Model, which allows you to have a single source file, but then call out portions of the source that you'd like to execute on the DSP. So, uh, can you show stuff? Yeah, sure. So, we have this sort of contrived example, but it's really good for trade shows. And what this example is sh uh, showing us is we have this function foo, which is really just a for loop that's adding together two, uh, two places in memory. And we'd like to take this entire thing here and we'd like to run this all on the DSP from the ARM processors, right? So what we do is we say, okay, Mr. Compiler, I want this portion to run on the DSP. This is the memory that's involved for the input. This is the memory that's involved for the output. And it takes this portion and runs it through the DSP code generation tools. The DSP code gen tools, basically it's a C++ compiler, understands OpenMP. So it's going to run this loop across all 24 cores of the machine. So it, this, iter this iteration space will be divided up amongst all the cores and each cores will be responsible for its own number of iterations, right? And so we can, if you run this through the tool chain, uh, it packs up both the ARM and the DSP binaries into what we call a FAT binary that you can just run from the ARM side and so what's happening is it's unpacking everything, it's setting up the shared memory segment between the ARM and the DSP, it's dispatching the computation and it's getting back the result. This, this is a very small example and really good for a trade and really good to show at trade shows. But you can have much larger examples. Uh, you can pretty much get any kind of software that's C and C++ and works with OpenMP. Uh, working on this machine. It's also programmable in OpenCL. And if you want to use the power of the entire machine, 
uh, you use OpenMPI plus OpenMP hybrid programming model or OpenMPI plus OpenCL and you can set up a, a very large uh, you can have programs that are computing very large data sets. So 1.2 terabytes of uh, physical memory. Physical memory sounds yeah. like a lot. It's a lot. It's a, a lot, a lot. Yeah, right? it's a how, lot, a lot. How much is it compared to other stuff, other things? Well, I think if you, let's say you're talking about an, a one U Intel server, maybe you could get 64 gigabytes in one of those. In one of our blades, which is about, let's say, one third the size of a, an Intel server, we have 100 gigabytes. The reason for that is because most high-performance computing applications are using a, quite a bit of memory to uh, do what they do. So you need to be able to hold a lot of the, the simulation or most of the data or whatever you're working on in memory. So uh, your company, yes. what, what have you been doing before? So for the whole ARM. Before solution. the alarm thing, so we have a lot of experience on many embedded platforms, a lot of strange chips. Well, we have significant in experience on x86 platform, also the uh, uh, packet processing platforms. We also have experience on uh, a lot of older architectures, and so we we do work for different organizations, and they're primarily interested in low latency, high performance and uh, scalability in small spaces. And so you're a supercomputing company? Uh, I would say that we are a, a new supercomputing company, yes. So who's your customers? So our customers are, at this point, primarily the United States government, and we'll announce the identity of those customers next month at uh, Supercomputing Show. Where? Uh, and it's in Denver. Uh, it's the 17th through the 23rd in Denver, Colorado. That's Supercomputing 2013. Do I need a special security clearance to no. get in? No, anyone can get in. Uh, All right. You have to pay money, though. <laughs>